Can it be done? Can we create the invincible Arcanine on the battle spot and then have it win a battle? I find that's interesting that we have like comb fate tagging because you only need three Pokemon. The last one doesn't really matter. Like you do the Mimic Shedinja entrainment strat into giving Arcanine Wonder Guard and then everything is pretty cool from there. So I guess after that you have comb fate. It's like I'll just heal you and I'll just extra make sure nothing bad happens and then you go and win. Also, Comfey might help with the setup itself and the, like a last second swap into the Arcanine. I don't really know. We're going to see how this how this goes for the battle spot. And honestly, I feel like it's going to be easier to do this to an extent on the battle spot than the battle tree. Because battle tree has like all the weird things. You know, I remember when I was trying to create this on the battle tree. And it was like the only movesets on the battle tree that could stop it were the ones that were getting thrown at me. Because battle tree is unfair and cheats like that. But uh, we're going to see if it's possible against the player. I'm not expecting, no, it's not like a 100% insta-win, always works kind of strategy. It's just going to be something that if it happens, it's cool. And then we're going to see if it can take out a battle from there. So, Shedinja will have to survive on that Focus Sash because of the Flare Blitz. Audino comes in with the Entrainment onto Solgaleo. And now we're going to have that good old Mimic Shedinja come through and then get the Entrainment for itself. But... This is where things are like, like normally I thought you want to go protect Trick Room and then have that Trick Room so you get to underspeed everything and you don't have to worry as much. But Audino is going to come in with that Mega Evolution and Mega Audino. Does that have something fancy that I'm not expecting right now? It also has a full metal body, which doesn't really do much. And Shedinja is going to protect on the, oh, okay. So reversing it, I see. Instead of maybe the opponent like taunting the Audino going for, I don't know. If taunt happens, then bad things happen anyways. So yeah, th that's where Aldino goes for Trick Room, and that's where Shedinja gets to protect. Good! It was able to get swept around, and now we are in a position where we're set to win. So now Aldino should be able to switch out. Shedinja is going to go and use that, uh, roll, or the Entrainment onto the Arcanine, and then we're gonna have No Guard, or not No Guard, Wonder Guard on the Arcanine. Arcanine still needs to survive, though. But here's the thing, like, the opponent wants Shedinja dead. Unless they've seen this strategy, then they should know to focus Arcanine, but until that point happens, it's like, oh, we'll finish off the Shedinja, a uh, random attack's just going to go and hit the Arcanine, and then Arcanine's going to be in a position to use the Burn Up, and then things are done. Um, if it's like a, you know, we need like Quiet Nature or something like that to give, give Arcanine the, the lowest amount of speed possible, zero IVs, all kinds of fun stuff like that, but then Wonder Guard's going to come through, and that's another like weird thing about, like once it gets the Wonder Guard, only certain moves can affect it. And then after that, it loses the typing and things get pretty crazy from there. Except, that's right. So Galio, the, the Sunseal Strike actually has like a built-in Mold Breaker. So it's going to be able to bypass that onto the Arcanine. But the Tapu Koko can. I was wondering, like, I was like trying to justify why the Soul Galio was landing hits because technically it shouldn't. Like, you have that Trick Room, you go for the Entrainment, and then nothing's going to touch you unless it's already a super effective hit, which Arcanine can tank. And then there's the Burn Up, so no typing Wonder Guard has been achieved on the battle spot. And I guess that's also why you just have Comfey for backup. Um, Mold Breaker is a possibility, but in Audino can steal that with the or can like warp that with the Entrainment. So if there's only one Mold Breaker, that could be something. Arcanine's still bulky, so I mean, yeah. You do need the Comfey in there just in case, like, the weirdness happens. But, okay, sure, sure, normally Wonder Guard work against Arcanine, but not when it's typeless. And then Electro Ball is going to come through, hit the Comfey for a decent amount of damage, not enough to KO. And then Arcanine gets behind that Substitute, so now there's no status. Nothing can KO this unless it's, like, Mold Breaker... Um, yeah, okay, so we have to do is you have to get Mold Breaker on Supreme Arena. But actually, never mind, I was about to say, because then, like, uh, and then use Liquid Voice. And that way you can get through the sub, but it's not a super effective hit, so. You just have to do weird things. You have to, you have to get through the Mold Breaker, and then you have, or you have to Mold Break into a sound move that does an insane amount of damage to crit to one-shot the Arcanine. So now Arcanine, I don't know if it's supportive or what, because, yeah, it does Snarl. So it goes for the Snarl, that's actually going to reduce the special attack of Tapu Koko and Primarina, so it does less damage. Twisted Dimensions returning normal doesn't really change too much, because Comfey has that priority. So it will go for the Synthesis, but because of that Snarl, now Tapu Koko doing significantly less damage, and Arcanine needs to like, just like, set up and do something so it can win. Uh, Toxic? Like, yeah, what's the Arcanine win condition? Cool, we have all this good stuff going for the Arcanine, but what's the win condition? So, Tapu Koko is going to come in with that Electro Ball. Electro Ball onto Comfey. 
after all that drop, it's not the worst thing. Uh, keeps over the sparkling Aria onto the uh, Arcanine. Actually, no, it hits everything, right? So it does a little bit of damage to top of Coco. Does some damage to the Comfe. Things are happening. Comfe is just going to keep Synthesis back up to full health. And yeah, like, how does Arcanine win? Like, I imagine Toxic? flamethrower and then you just kind of chip away the opponent because you're invincible you're set you're good to go nothing else matters you'll eventually get some damage down i guess that's why if you have like the quiet nature you at least have some good damage behind that flamethrower uh the snarl does more than nothing and then pretty marina just comes in boom hydro pump comfe tanks it this comfe also looks like it's not hippo invested right it, it, it just seems like that's not even like an ev comfe. It, it just it's just there because it might support Arcanine in a clutch moment, and then Arcanine's unkillable anyway, so what's the point? Uh, Snarl, chip damage, kind of working away. Tapu Koko goes down. Primarina has like zero damage. Then we're going to see what other Pokemon come in. I, I feel like Toxic Flamethrower works, because then you can just hit what you need to for good enough damage. Misty Terrain? Wow, that Primarina representing right there. Don't see Misty Terrain too often, but Misty Terrain pre Marina seems kind of kind of solid. And now Decidueye comes in. So does Comfey have like Leech Seed or something to work and finally like start getting some damage down and start supporting? So that's gonna be Flamethrower onto Decidueye, and that's going to be good damage, putting into that 2 KO range. I was gonna see how much Snarl did first, and then Comfey has Grass Knot. So come oh yeah, yeah, it's been using Grass Knot on Pre Marina. Little bits of damage, not enough to really matter. Uh Pre Marina comes in with the Moon Blast, Wonder Guard completely unaffected and then yeah like how do you break sub once sub goes up with this i just realized i was like oh it's subs too that I mean, it can't be status but how do you break the sub so once it gets behind that substitute it's invincible except for like well yeah mold breaker and mold breaker plus soundproof kind of and then you have to break sub, and then sub things happen it's weird we're in a really strange kind of mechanical breakdown right here uh arcanine goes for flamethrower decidueye will go down and then we just watch Primarina go away, and that's going to be the end of the battle pretty soon. So, Hydro Pump, like, yeah, just just keep throwing those moves there. It'll it'll do something. I feel Comfe would be getting a lot more work done with that Leech Seed, though. So, Arcanine has the Flamethrower. Unfortunately, it's just double resisted by the Primarina. So, we're, like, relying on Grass Knot and Flamethrower and just trying to get the little bits of damage on the Primarina. I think it's kind of cute that you can see Primarina's little smile even with like the Grass Knot animation, but that's it. That's gonna be a battle. And let's go check out another battle. We got another submission, so let's watch it happen again. Oh yeah. Oh wait, actually I did that. I, I should have done that one, but I should have tried the Luigi voice. Oh yeah. Cause like, that's that's when you see it. When you see the Smeargle. When you see the Smeargle, that's where things are about to get more serious than the Comfey. Cause like, Comfey kind of went untouched, kind of did its thing. The priority definitely helps with the synthesis. But when you have Trick Room up, that gives Smeargle Freeness. You can do whatever you want with the Smeargle at that point. Is it going to like side contribute one hit KOs while Arcanine is still unkillable? I don't know. Let's watch how this one breaks down because it looks like okay, Mega Evolution instant on the on the Audino this time. That's fancy. That spices things up. Uh, Lycanroc has the Brick Break, so went for the damage on the Audino, gets that Mega into Fairy, so that's fine, and then Flare Blitz onto the Shedinja. So it seems like instead of the predictable first turn of like protect trick room shenanigans, uh, looks like it's kind of the other way around. Now Dino goes for the entrainment, then Shedinja is going to go for the mimic. That's when we trick room stuff, and then it just ends right there. And this is like in a this is like just aggro, aggro situation where it seems pretty solid. Now the problem is with the Lycan Rock though, I it could definitely ruin the it could definitely definitely ruin all of this because that's priority. So Accelerock onto Shedinja, that gets to the Wonder Guard, but it has Stone Edge instead. Now here's the thing, Accelerock, while it is a very good move, it, it well, I, I wouldn't even say very good, you know, it's, it's weird. Accelerock's in a pretty strange state that on, in theory, Rock priority move seems absolutely ridiculous, but Lycanroc kind of doesn't want to run that, especially in doubles. You have Protect, and then you have Coverage, like, you know, Crunch, Fire Fang, Stone Edge. Where's the room? Why are you going to run two Rock-type moves for the Accelerock, which isn't going to do any damage? So I think that might be what happened here. Trick Room's up. Shedinja gets the entrainment onto the switch for the uh, Arcanine. And now we don't have to worry about any shenanigans. Now we don't have to worry about shenanigans. Because, yeah, Mold Breaker not in play right now. Sunsteel Strike not in play. Lycanroc goes for the Stone Edge. Stone Edge actually wrecks Arcanine, though. So that happened. 
Shinja's going to vanish instantly with that Phantom Force and just kind of hang in there. And Incineroar causes that uh, to avoid, but then Arcanine goes for the burn up. You know, if you know the opponent's faster, even if they're threatening KO potential, you just outspeed them with that Trick Room, at, burn yourself out, and then that's going to be the Wonder Guard. So, oh man, my Stone Edge worked last time. Why doesn't it work now? And that's that's going to be pretty bad. So Phantom Force on the Incineroar. Why, why is Lycanroc going untouched right now? That's my question. What? Um... You can... You can go for the Moonsault, but... I don't know. Like, yeah, like, Shedinja's already dead. It doesn't even have one... Wait, no, it still has Wonder Guard, because that's... That's another nice little side effect when you break it down, too, because, yeah, technically, when you're using Trainment, it's not like Skill Swap, so you still keep the Wonder Guard, so you're not completely vulnerable. And then Arcanine comes in with the Flamethrower. So yeah, unfortunately it just has that Flamethrower. So it has to do what a little damage it can. Not even doing a lot of damage to the Lycanroc. It is resisted, but still. And then Arcanine comes in with the Wonder Guard. And now nothing matters. So Audino comes back in. That's another thing. Audino's still alive after all this. So even if Comfey goes down, Audino has Heal Pulse. It can reset Trick Room. Why is my alarm going off? Shut up, alarm. Um, it has Trick Room. It has all this other stuff going for it. And then it can reset, and they can kind of keep that momentum going. Might have a little bit of damage as well. And then we go into Smeargle, and then Smeargle is where we get into the true shenanigans. So yeah, like, uh, but at the same time, I think, okay, so we have Snarl Flamethrower, Morning Sun? Or does Arcanine have the Protect? And then it also has Sub. Arcanine does not put up the substitute in this situation as well. I just feel that that's like the big F you, you know, like... You get you get that down and it doesn't matter. Maybe rest. Maybe rest instead of Morning Sun. That way, just in case you do get toxic, you have a way of getting out of it. It's like, all right, I'm toxic. Comfey's dead. Something like that. We're just going to rest. There you go. And then whenever I wake up, I'll put the sub up and then you can't toxic me ever again. Or you put the sub while toxic and then you rest and now you're unkillable. In which case, I feel that you can still go Flamethrower toxic. I don't know. It's like, the damage does start to drop off and then you got to... Snarl both opponents for small amounts of damage, maybe reduces some special attack to let Audino survive a bit more, and then things happen. So Incineroar's coming in with that Flamethrower. Flamethrower doesn't really bother the Audino, because Audino, Mega Audino, is just really tanky. Tankier than Clefable. Has the Psychic. I don't know why Psychic over Dazzling Gleam. Because Dazzling Gleam, Dazzling Gleam gets stabbed and isn't resisted by, or isn't immune by darks. So yeah, like, it, it's funny, it seems like this team was just kind of thrown together. And the moves don't matter because like, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna win with Arcanine. And worst case scenario, you could technically win through stall, maybe. I'm not talking about like timer stall, I'm talking about like your time stall. That if you're instant mashing moves and you have like rest, substitute, snarl, flamethrower, those are some decent these are some decent moves when it comes to PP. So maybe the opponent is taking like a long time, they'd catch on late. You can maybe win through your time because the opponent has no way of dealing with you. And then Cineroar gets Flamethrower. Is this going to be enough to finally take down the Audino? No. After all those, after all those snarls, it isn't. But then it is. But then the Psychic happens. And then Mega Mewtwo, one punch. Mewtwo takes a solid neutral hit, and then d can't do anything to the Arcanine because Arcanine is just, it's just done. It's perfect right now. Untouchable. So what's Smeargle going to do? This is what I was excited for. I was waiting to see what Smeargle did once it hit the battlefield. Uh. Arcanine's gonna Snarl, Thunder didn't do anything, Snarl hits Mewtwo for small amounts of damage, and Cinderor just doing its own little thing right there, and then, yeah. So I think uh, resetting Trick Room, we're trying to like get that Trick Room going for the Smeargle is good. Spore, just to be annoying, because why not? Incineroar with the Darkest Lariat, Arcanine, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way with Lariat. Mewtwo's still asleep. Arcanine's gonna flamethrower. Uh, eventually, Incineroar is gonna go down. It's one flamethrower away from going down. Smeargle has imprisoned. Oh, hey! Hey! There it is. There's the imprisoned transform Smeargle. So, as though having an, like, an invincible Pokemon wasn't enough. Now we have that. So Mewtwo's gonna wake up into the thunder after the snarls. Not gonna be enough to KO the Smeargle. Smeargle's gonna transform, and then Mewtwo's locked out for the rest of the game, while Arcanine's unkillable, and then it's a 1v2 when you can't when you can double do nothing. 
And then, you know, uh, Smeargle steals the Mewtwo, and Mewtwo's a pretty powerful Pokemon. There we go. Come on. He's about to take a bit of time. Z Transform? Doesn't that fully heal? Yeah, boy. Z Transform Smeargle is wild. Because you, you get to steal, and then you get to heal. And boom, you're done. Sun Cinderor comes in with a flamethrower. Now it's against a Mewtwo. So that gets tanked up really well. Uh, Mewtwo might die. So like, I don't see... The, oh, yeah, and then straight into struggle. That too. Mewtwo's not even going to be alive long enough. So yeah, struggle comes through. Arcanine actually flames... I would have opted for the Snarl just to, you know, knock both of them out. So Incineroar goes down. Uh, Mewtwo pretty much dead as well. And the last Pokemon is going to have a pretty bad time. Smeargle gets paralyzed. Unfortunate, but that's why I was with the Thunder. And then Zergatry comes in. Zergatry can't do anything to the Arcanine, and Mewtwo has no moves left. That's going to be a struggle, so tap in damage for that struggle. Done. Arcanine with a Snarl, making sure Zergatry can't do enough to KO the Mewtwo. Wow, that's actually a little, little bit of damage. Solid amount of damage on Zergatry. I guess Psy Strike, Flamethrower, it's going to be done. It's done. It's over. Mewtwo X with Psy Strike, though, is kind of awkward. Calm Mind on the Zerkatry. He wants those stats back. He wants to drag this game out to, like, 20 years. It, it's pretty much over, though. So, I mean, with Flamethrower, you can get the burn. And then that's going to be better, because Zerkatry at least doesn't have sustain. But, yeah, now Flamethrower isn't doing a lot of damage because of Calm Mind. That's going to be the burn. Psy Strike, though, hits through that Calm Mind. So, eventually, Zerkatry will die, and that's going to be the breakdown. So, there we go, guys. It happened. You can do it on the battle spot. You just gotta bring that strat, work it against the opponent. It might not work every time, but when it does, it's pretty funny. And Arcanine goes completely untouched. Actually, no, that's a lie because it got wrecked by the Lycan Rock earlier. But it ends perfectly. It ends in the godlike state that has been created. And Flamethrower, and Dead, and GG. So, if you guys enjoyed Fan Fridays for the week, uh, I think that was sure. I think we had a pretty solid fan Friday. So, you guys, enjoy your day, enjoy your weekend, have a great week, have a great day, have a great weekend, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next fan Fridays or all the other videos. Go and check it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this one with your friends if you think the strategy is cool. And I'll I'll see you later. Thank you very much for watching.